Today's reading is Mind Flayer, a Monster Girl Encyclopedia book entry. Grotesque enchantresses with tentacles growing from the head and lower body who form peculiar societies underground. Highly intelligent and dangerous with an extremely obscene mentality. They possess the power to manipulate the mind and they are a of a different mind from even the radical factions of the Lord's army, and although they have been influenced by that Lord, they are not her underlings. According to one explanation, it's purported that they are a race that serves chaos monsters that slumber deep within the depths of the sea, and it is their duty to fill the land above with their minions. They appear above ground seeking prey, and they will not only target human men, who serve as their partners, but also actively assault human women to entice them into becoming of the same race. They seize their prey as if embracing them from behind and slip their tentacles into the prey's head through the ears to directly pour mana and pleasurable signals into the brain. The rational mind and thoughts like that melt away, and the mind flayer slurps them up. Metaphorically, not literally. The prey's mind is consumed by pleasure and watery sounds of the mind flayer's tentacle noisily slurping around inside their head, or mostly just within the ear. The prey will be completely helpless and unable to do anything but gasp and moan. If the prey is male, then lewd, obscene mind suitable for a partner of a mind flayer will be implanted inside their defenseless little head. Once a man becomes a being that exists to have sex with said mind flayer, his body and mind will no longer put put forth any resistance at all when the mind flayer habitually coils around her husband, using her body and tentacles to induce pleasure. Such man will even experience joy as their mind is melted and slurped out along with any mana he possesses. On the other hand, in the case that the prey is female, it is said that she won't immediately be converted into a monster, and will instead be released while still human, however, just getting a whiff of the odor of a human man or his mana, will be intoxicating and she'll be unable to maintain her ordinary thought processes. In all likelihood, the woman will have been partly transformed so that only part of her memories, values, senses, and perception will be that of a monster. She may have only been granted a monster's olfactory sense, or she may have been implanted with a monster's value such as taking pleasure in being sexually desired by others, or a false memory such as being a monster and having sex with a man which would probably be very confusing. While a woman will retain her human body, she will be inflamed with a monster's passion and learn the pleasure of being a monster. No matter how much she masturbates and has sex, she will never be able to experience fulfillment in her human body and her mind will be eaten away by this. She will start to frequently recall the pleasure and watery noises of having her mind slurped by mind flayers and desperately having been least will end up making her way back to the mind flayer on her own of and of her free will. Ooh, how confusing. When the mind flayer enjoys her by sipping the taste of a woman's mind, she will notice that it is changed into something apparently obscene and befitting of a minion. As if to reward her, she will change the woman slightly closer to being a monster, and as these events repeat, eventually the woman will beg to be changed into a monster entirely. Sometimes such women will sexually assault men while still human in order to show off and exhibit that they are the appropriate mind to become a minion. After debauching her mind to such a degree, a woman will finally be accepted as a new mind flayer. Also, they themselves are always immersed in obscene watery noises. Even if they don't have any prey, they will use their tentacles on their own bodies. In order to make sex with their partners more pleasurable and fulfilling, they continuously melt their mind and reforge it into something even more obscene and debauched. The squid-like thing covering their lower abdomen frequently squishes as if they were entirely separate organism. They pat it lovingly with their tentacles and, when, and then it releases white viscous fluid. It is said men become men who become intimate with them and suddenly transform into squids becoming stuck coiled around their hips and tentacles slipping inside their lower torso. This has been observed and even when asked about the truth, the only response to my player is to smile alluringly. Oh, how strange. Translation of the last paragraph. You see the image on the left? You see that squid thing on her uh, pelvic region? Yeah, that's her husband. 
Also, they're actively having sex at this point, which means, yes, I have to censor things for YouTube because YouTube hates women. That is a fact. 